Well, good morning, everybody. I'd been making hints that the desert tank was going to be transformed into something. Wasn't sure what, but, well, kind of had an idea. My wife's been wanting to get in the hobby, so we've turned it into a lagoon tank. The substrate in here is Araga Live, so beneficial bacteria already going in it. I am dosing with beneficial bacteria every day. Tank's been up for almost a uh, week and a half, two weeks now. I'd have to look for sure. It's heavily stocked with macroalgae, so that will help keep the water very clean. The rock in there is cycled rock. So, well, easy to get up. The filtration is a Fluval 107 canister filter. Yes, you can actually run a tank with a canister filter. It's no different than a sump. You still got to do maintenance on anything. If you take care of it, it'll take care of your tank. Combined with the macroalgae, well, that'll help take care of it a lot. Let's take a look at it. We've got some pine cone macroalgae and some shaving bush. Long tentacle anemone. Rock flower anemone. More shaving bush and pine cone bush. The algae, please forgive my pronunciations, is Gracilia, it's the red algae. Ula is the green. We have one pom pom in the back right there. Plus, you know, well, he's right next to the skunk cleaner shrimp. Heater is in the very back, it'll be hidden soon. And of course, up top, we have the clown. So, the water parameters right now. As we know from other tank, I'm only testing nitrite, nitrate, and ammonia. They're all zero. Expect them to stay that way, especially with a quart of algae, and they're actually well over a quart with all of it in there. Tank-wise, as it gets along, it will probably get some Florida Ricordia mushrooms and stuff that's more local to the United States waters. We'll see. We never know. She may want to put other things in there. But for now... Welcome to my wife's tank, and we'll see where it goes from here.